Today, we have two very, very special guests. In fact, we were talking um, off air earlier. I feel so fancy. We were talking off air, but um, <laughs> we were talking off air earlier, and I was saying that Katie is the first two time guest on the Or Umbrella podcast, which makes her extra, extra special. Why and today, special? extra special. And today, extra. we have. <laughs> Extra long time. And then um, we have a very extra special situation here because we have the man, the myth, the Marvel Contest of Champions legend, Prof Hoff. And so uh, we're going to talk to them about Marvel Contest of Champions, about Marvel movies and not Marvel movies, Marvel stuff. (laughs) <laughs> and it's going to be fun, fun, fun times. And so, first of all, we want to say welcome, Prop Hop and Katie Candy to the Or Umbrella Podcast. Hi. It's, it's good to be back. Yeah, Katie being here twice feels like it's like the SNL top host. <laughs> <laughs> She's the uh, John Goodman of the Or Umbrella Podcast. <laughs> I'll wear that crown. <laughs> <laughs> Just like on King Ralph, indeed. Um <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask y'all a couple of questions because for those of y'all who don't know, um, both Katie and Prof are uh, Marvel Contest of Champions YouTubers uh, with really big followings. Uh, both of them have five-figure followings, and um, they also tend to do a lot of things together. Uh, they run, and um, it's called Incursions now, but it used to be Dungeons together and put it on their channel and just uh, help each other with crystal openings and uh, they are the, the Bert and Ernie oh. of Marvel Contest of Champions. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Got the voodoo doll there. <laughs> so, so first Ruh-roh. of all we just want to ask you, what were you saying? I just said Rutro. <laughs> oh, <Ruh-roh>. okay. <laughs> so, so we want to we want to start off, uh, Michael. If you want to ask a couple of questions to them about just how they got to know each other and everything. Yeah, uh, you do a lot of collaborations on MCOC and are known as quite the besties in that realm. So, how did you first find out about each other? Well, uh, I knew of Prof, <laughs> and then Prof can take it from there. <laughs> Katie is such a great person when it comes to first opinions and first. Um, impressions that she reached out to me asking if I could pretend to get stabbed and I knew once she asked me to do that that um, she was a cut above the rest (laughs) (laughs) indeed indeed. yeah so I I don't know how she found out but I'm curious how she followed me and found out about me and wanted to stab me Um, well, at that point in time, I was doing these kind of um, skits uh, in the developer and CEO videos where I played the CEO of Kabam and the developer of Kabam. And uh, so the CEO was kind of mean to the developer. <laughs> and I thought because Prof did all of the uh, grading of the deals, the daily deals that came out, that it would be a good one to incorporate a voodoo doll for and I was so happy when he agreed to it because um as you can see poor little voodoo prof has been stabbed numerous numerous times and then it just kind of like blossomed from there blossomed is that the word I'm looking for I don't know I'm rolling with it flowers why not (laughs) What what a beautiful way to start a friendship uh Michael what's the next question you got for him uh yeah uh, what I guess we already answered that question. So, yeah. all right, I, I'll flip it around because you, you, we were going to ask how y'all got to collaborate together, and now we know because you wanted to kill him. And so, um, <laughs> continuing on, continuing but did, but that's important. So from there, like y'all started doing uh, the dungeon runs together, and um, you know, you would call Katie in for crystal openings and everything. So, 
how did it kind of uh, develop from there as far as you just continuing to, to work with each other? I owe Katie a lot of credit because she did get me Stark Spidey after doing a dance that will never allow me to run for public office. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, in all seriousness, I think the pandemic has shown even more how important it is to have a community that you can hang out with even from home. And Katie's got a great sense of humor and she's always been very genuine Aww. and authentic. And it can be easy to befriend somebody that you think is a certain way because they are that way on camera but when you talk to them off camera they're not the same person but katie's always been on camera and off camera exactly who she uh shows herself to be and that really gained my admiration and loyalty and it's been a ton of fun and she has put up with way more yogi bear impressions <laughs> than she deserves but the yogi bear impressions are what keeps me coming back <laughs> that's right <laughs> But no, it, we just like have a lot of fun together and like I may sometimes forget <laughs> about an incursion run here and there. Uh -huh. <laughs> but she is all she's such a good friend. She is the first person that will clip a fail of mine and <laughs> play it on loop. I don't know what I'm talking about. I would never. Okay, maybe uh, once, once or twice. I remember I remember one video you made where it was like kind of the Jimmy Kimmel uh, unnecessary censorship with Croft. You know, what's sad that about was... that is that, you know, for, for a true professional, <laughs> like say Brian Grant, she would need to find multiple videos to come up. But I am such a quirky weirdo that she could just take five minutes of every one of my streams and have more than enough material to bleep. She's laughing because she knows it's true. She knows it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just too easy it was just too, too simple I'm like, man, this, really this could go on for like 10 hours this yeah. prop's a crazy man he's a wild man okay. <laughs> with a lot of wild ways and so absolutely and since y'all are such best friends uh, we have a quiz for you guys oh dear um, me, I've come up with some questions and I don't know the answer to any of them except for the first one because it was it took me 10 seconds to find out on YouTube. But we're going to give each one of you five questions, and we're going to see who the champion is of being a best friend. And um, so we're going to ask – we're going to ask a question. Katie goes first, and then Prof gets the same question, and we got five of them. So uh, I'll ask the first question. Um, so, Katie, what was the subject matter of Prof's first YouTube video? Was it, it, was it at the Oreo reviews? Is that is that right? Yes, it is. It is the Oreo reviews. I think there was like I looked yesterday. There was like four of them. Like he really was into reviewing those Oreos. So you know, some some people think when you serve this great country of ours, you gotta like go into the military, and that's great. But for me, it was trying to tell anonymous, mostly stoners in their parents' basement, whether or not they should spend three dollars on a new package of Oreos. <laughs> Important That's the important information. You don't want a bad package of Oreos. No. I mean, I bought a bad package of Oreos. Get diabetes. You might as well have it. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of the, the enjoyable diabetes. Exactly. Get that diabetes. At least, I, at least I had fun getting there. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Prop, what was Katie's first YouTube video on her channel? Well, I can only tell you the first one I watched, and it was a SNL like skit. The first one I saw was actually when uh she was like pretending to obsess over crystal opening whale in like a a frame so i don't know if that's the first one that she made but that's the first one that that got my way all right is he correct no it was, it was now i looked yesterday it was an intro video wasn't it mm-hmm Oh well, come on. <laughs> that doesn't count. That's like that's like a preface for a book before chapter one. <laughs> what was the first video after a welcome to my channel? What was the uh, first? I think it was a crystal opening video. Okay. It oh, might yeah, have been was... the one where I choked on peanut butter pie. <laughs> it's always a good way to start things off, choking on things. <laughs> you really killed it. The... I did. I did. <laughs> really killed it all right uh question number two uh katie what is one of prof's favorite hobbies besides marvel contest of champions um 
hanging out with me. <laughs> is that a hobby? I don't know. <laughs> is that an acceptable answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. I'm also saying this. I'm already down one nothing. So I, anything that's Roasted. real close to them, gotta get what he can take. I can name the same question from her though. Okay. Okay, because it's a combination of drank night with her lady friends and Apex Legends. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we're 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 tied one one here. All right. Uh, the next question. Oh dear. Um, now this is a little Marvel contest. The champions trivia about the other one. Who is the highest rated champion on Prof's uh, on Prof's game roster? Pro -pro? Roster. Yeah. Is it Aegon? No, he's number three or four. This uh, the six star Aegon? Nope. Aegon. Nope. Is it Torch? Nope, it was Torch for a while, and then it was Doom, but now, as of last week, it's my rank three six-star Corvus. Oh, that's right. I am highly jealous of such things. <laughs> no, um, I, I feel guilty. It, you know, people say all the time, you're trash, you don't deserve him, and my answer is, yeah, you're right, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually I was actually watching one of your videos recently, Prof, and you're like, "Yeah, um, this is not my awakened six star Doctor Doom, even though I have one, and this yeah, is not no, mine." I... <laughs> <laughs> I was that was the live the live crystal opening commentary in which I had to let people know that I already had him, and then I was like, "Wow, you sound like a douchebag." Let's keep going. <laughs> um, okay, so same question for Katie's roster. Yeah. I mean, I think if it was her choice, her dream scenario would be like a rank three, six star uh, Emma Frost. But um, since that is not the top champion, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's her six star Aegon. I'm going to go with the same answer, but I know I'm wrong. Who is it? Mm. Surfer. Who is it? Silver Surfer. Oh God. Like I ever want to fill my brain with knowledge of that guy. I, uh, yeah, I, I put up 95.5 million points for that guy and he is forever in the top of the pro. So you're I top her right now. Still a five star. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any rank two six stars? Yeah. Yeah. I have three. I've got, um, awakened void, awakened Sim Supreme and Domino. But no rank threes yet? No rank threes yet. I have uh, a tech T5 CC, but I'm waiting on ghost. And I have a skill, but I'm waiting for to pull the trigger on Aegon. Okay, so Aegon will go up. So, yeah. so eventually, the answer may be Aegon. The, eventually, the answer may be Aegon, because I can get him up to SIG 195. Well, I can already tell you, the, the answer eventually for me is going to be rank three, Dr. Doom. That's going to be. That's going to be good. But it may, bef after that, be Claire, if I get Mystic. If I get Mystic formed, Claire will be the next rank three. Well, thank you for clarifying it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I might be a little bit clairvoyant. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. Come on. We oh, my dance back and forth, and we also make really good fake girl <laughs> leader sounds. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Well, I'm Jay. You're the best. Sorry to y'all. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. How's the weather? <laughs> it's <laughs> all right so what's next <laughs> <laughs> indeed uh the next question is um all right this one's not marvel contest of champions related all okay. right so katie what is a movie that you think that prof hop has never seen oh oh um i am going to go with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie with what's her face? Christy's Christy Swanson, I think is her name. Yeah. Uh, that is 100% correct. I have never seen that movie. Can I? Can okay. I... Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to say one of my favorites, which is the last 10 years. It's a movie called The Way, Way Back. Have you seen that one? Steve Carell. That's like the one with the dolls? No. Okay, then no. <laughs> all right, well, that means we're both tied at two all still, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I, was thinking, 
for prop, I was gonna, I would have, I would have gone Magic Mike just because. I don't know. Have you seen that one? No, I, um, I'm not confident enough in my manhood. To be <laughs> that could bring forth some great insecurities, no doubt. All right, last question. Here it goes, and this isn't really a question, but you have ten seconds to make the other person laugh. While they try not to laugh. No! <laughs> the last time I tried this, Katie Candy fell out of her chair and she <laughs> couldn't complete a fight. <laughs> I win. <laughs> That's a weighted question. <laughs> Want a recount? She wasn't even. I, I had opened my mouth and she was dead. <laughs> Just for the heck, okay, okay. Let's let's all get let's all get serious faces. This is the acting technique. So, whoo, all right. Get the faces all clear and smooth. All right, and I'm gonna give <laughs> I'm gonna give a three second countdown, and then and then Katie, it's your turn to to make Prof laugh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Three, two, one, go. Yo, this is boo boo. I can't do it. <laughs> Well, she made herself laugh. Is that like lots of one Does point? Count? Is that like negative Did I point? go negative? Did I just go negative? I just love how out of all the things she could have done, she's like, I'm just going to try the same impression. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, just, just for the heck of it. Okay, we're going we're gonna, to... Okay, get, let's get the faces all okay. Okay, all right, and then in three seconds, Prof is gonna try to make Katie laugh. All right, okay, okay, all right, three, two, one, go. Did you enjoy the Lucas bow when you died off the screen? I just want to say that it's Luke Cage, and then it probably would have worked as well. I got All you would have just said was Luke Cage. Yep. <laughs> Boom. Boom! There goes prop across the screen. <laughs> or blade, I should say. Blade goes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, oh, my goodness. This is good stuff. <laughs> This is quality entertainment, real, real highbrow um, <laughs> stuff. Right? This is this is every incursions run on Prof Stream. Like this is this is every incursion. Keep in mind, this that's is why sober. <laughs> yeah, 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 sober right now, actually. So consistency is. <laughs> that's why I got you both on. I knew it would be great stuff. All right, Michael, you want to lead us to the to the next venture? Hey. Do you want <laughs> Do you want to give the the the, the next? guidance to where we're going now yes i would okay so quick five team mcoc draft the format is pick a team of five characters to be your forever questing team katie gets the first pick then prof then katie then prof and so on until you get five on your team no duplicate picks okay, okay. that's very important in this this process once a champion's picked they are off the board Synergies matter. And we assume that this champion is probably SIG 200 max rank. Just for Yes, sake. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All absolutely. the way up, yeah. Okay. And All right. Katie, Katie's we start got the first you? pick. Black Go. Widow Clairvoyant. Number okay. one. That is surprising. Right off the bat. All right. You want to you explain that pick a little bit? Oh, yeah, because with Claire – You've got power control, you've got sustainability, you've got immunities, you've got burst damage. You can pretty much make her however you need to make her for whatever. She's got the nullify, she's got the power gain. So Claire is an all-around utility queen, so to speak. Yes, queen. Yes, indeed. Yes, <laughs> queen. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm all right. I'm tempted on my first pick, even though I won't, just cause it would be frost, to go with uh, Emma Frost. But I, uh, mm. um, I'm going to go with my favorite overall champion when I got to bring somebody in, and that's uh, Omega Red. Oh, Omega Frost. Red is definitely good. His spores are uh, never sporadic. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I tried to punt things. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> All right, Katie's turn. Uh, Warlock. 
He is like the Swiss army knife of champions. If you need that passive heal block, mm, he's going to do it for you. You need to put a bleed on, he can do it off his heavy. He's got the, he's got some power control with him as well. So Warlock, and I don't know who says Warlock doesn't hit hard. Warlock hits pretty decently hard. Mm -hmm. That armor break and the special special two. Yeah. That is, you know, go ahead. I was going to say like, that is my only... So t- I was telling Prop earlier, I started much later than you guys, and that is my only rank five five star, and I have no regrets about it. He is he is fantastic. Go ahead, Prop. Well, I'm so thankful that she chose Warlock because she left me with my bay, and that's Quake. Mm. And that's like not a lot of people know how to play her. Well, I feel like she's like third grade compared to um, Ghost, but. Uh, um, <laughs> But yeah, I, Katie's never been somebody who who likes playing with Quake. I cannot Quake and Bake. I can't. I can kind of Quake and Bake sometimes. I have my good days and I have my bad days. But Quake and Shake, forget it. That's Quake and Punch oh, in the yeah. face. That's, 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 quake. <laughs> that's Quake Calculus. And that's <laughs> that feels like its own RNG nightmare. All right, so who's your third pick? I'm curious. Uh, well, speaking of Ghost, Ghost. Oh, okay, good. Well, I wasn't going to choose her because... I mean, I guess if I had her for the rest of the time, I would be able to um, learn her better, but I just don't want to do it. (laughs) So uh, I think for this one, because he's one of our favorite champions and he's just so freaking underrated, Hyperion is going to be. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hype, hype, hype. I just brought him to rank four and I, my goodness, I love him. You can be so, unlikely and still be unbelievable. A funny story yeah. about my Hyperion. I used a rank down ticket on him, and then I brought him to rank five. Okay. <laughs> did, did, did he get really like, funny. Did he get? Okay, no. so I haven't been, I haven't no. been playing the game. No. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> I wanted the resources to take up. Who did I want to take up? I can't remember who I wanted to take up, but I wanted those resources for that champion. So I used the rank down ticket on Hyperion. So do they sometimes do they sometimes give rank down tickets? Like no. since I play, they don't anymore. Because since I played, the only rank down tickets they gave was the ones for Namor and Cole. And She Hulk, they gave them for She Hulk too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I forgot about She Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, but um, no, they don't. Well, I don't. I don't think they're going to be giving them out anymore, to be honest. Like unless Christmas it's something of, like that. It was like Christmas of 2017 or 2018. I yeah. I yeah. gave one for each. All right, Katie, you're up. Fourth, fourth choice. Oh, um, who do I have again? You've got Ghost, Play? Ghost, Claire, and Warlock. Okay. Uh, my boy Nick. I okay. mean, I how can you go point. wrong? Well, for all questing. I've got a counter with Aegon. Oh. And my last pick? Yep. It's, I think it's going to be a bit surprising. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, what? Iron Patriot? <laughs> no iron packages here. <laughs> um, but no, I'm going with Red Guardian because that slow that he has is very useful. Can I just say on the record, if anybody watches this, she chose Red Guardian and left me Doctor Doom. <laughs> oh, like, that's like being like Brian Scalabrini and leaving Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Some people still say Scalabrini's the goat, but you know, you know, it's yeah, those apples and oranges. Work at a bread factory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. And I think we have some unique teams that not everybody would have thought. I'm surprised that Emma, if you wouldn't, you'd never use Emma again in your top five, if you could, because she's such an, she's your incursion MVP. She is my incursion MVP. And I think that's, that's why is I use some now, some, she is good for some questing paths, right? right. Um, but, you know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't choose her over Warlock. I it would be interesting to do put it. up a poll of who has the better final five. Oh, that would be mm. fun. A Twitter yeah. poll. Yeah, to, yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah, after um, this airs. Yeah. Yep. I think that would be fantastic. That's, I think fantastic. it would be so fun. All right. Oh, so the- Katie Candy. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the last thing we have today is a little game. Uh, so, Michael, you want to explain the rules for this one? Yes. Bro? Okay. So everyone, including us, this is, this is us too, us as well, uh, we're going to pick an all-time Marvel team. Now, this is Marvel Comics. This is not Marvel Contest of Champions. This is Marvel Comics. And it's a Marvel team to defeat an OP team of supervillains. So if the galaxy was about to be, you know, wiped out by some sort of snap or, you know, conqueror or whatever, this would be your team uh, to defeat them. Now, it doesn't say here the number. Are we talking about five? Five. Five apiece. Five apiece. Oh, five apiece. Yeah. So yeah. I guess we're gonna go, we're gonna go in just same format we just did, like Katie, oh. then Prof, then Michael, then Jonathan, then Katie, then Prof, then Michael. And we'll then take Jonathan. turns. And Katie again, if they Jonathan. pick one of yours, you have to, you know, come up with somebody else. So think about some alternates okay. in case they pick your favorite. I'm uh, ready. For and this is we're talking about. This isn't just your favorite person. This is a person that would save the the universe. So you right. know. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Again. And the team. <laughs> And the team's got to make sense. I mean, obviously, we don't want, like, five Hulks just turning on each other or anything. So, all right, Katie, you got the first pick. First pick? Okay, I think I think you guys are going to be surprised by this. Uh, some of you may not know who he is, but it's um, he is Icarus from the Eternals. Okay. So what about him is, is so OP and powerful? Well, for one, he's an Eternal. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Um, but no, he's kind of, he would have like that all like powerful regen, like he could just like boost everyone else. And he, you know, if there's a battle, he is there. So I'm, I'm going to Karis as number one. Sounds good. All right, Mr. Prof. Definitely going Dr. Strange. He's a cheat code. Oh yeah. Turn back time. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Michael? Okay. So most people would not think of this but in every single big huge mashup with superheroes versus a galactus versus you know infinity whatever spider-man's always made the list and i think it's just his versatility and his wit and charm you know you could say symbiote spider-man but i think just the original spider-man every time i used to do infinity gauntlet and infinity wars he was always on the top of the roster to be that, you know, underdog that, that saved the day somehow. So I would say Spider-Man. Especially because he majored in web design. That's true. <laughs> he was a webmaster. Oh, that's good stuff. All right. All right Haas, who's your choice? My guy. It, no, this isn't a guy. This is a girl. I'm picking a, a lady, the first lady of the bunch. Um, she is, without question, the killer, the destroyer of all of the biggest villains that you could possibly imagine. And her name is Squirrel Girl. No, I knew it. The, I uh, knew as it. soon as he said the major, I'm like, he's going to uh, say the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. He's going to say the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. <laughs> that's, that's my girl. That's not You're not wrong, though. Yeah. I mean, she beat Doom. She beat Thanos. She beat Galactus. She mm -hmm. beat all by herself with the power she of Squirrel. Beat them. The Watcher said it was true. He sees everything. Yeah. <laughs> <All> okay. <right. laughs> Moving on. Katie, next thing. Uh, I'm going to go with probably the favorite Herald of Galactus. And I'm not talking about how he is in MCOC, but Silver Surfer. Oh, yeah. You don't want that oh, yeah. limit. Power Cosmic, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, well, I will counter and uh, do a pretty safe pick and go with uh, Thor. Mm. Very safe, very good. Leadership and power, yes. strength. Harry. Right. Harry. Harold. Exactly. Harold. Harry. <laughs> and we're, we're talking about original Thor, right? Yeah. We're not talking about fat Thor, no. <laughs> I mean, if, I'm, if I need somebody to win a frat party, that, he's going to be in there. <laughs> Fat Thor. Hey, if, if that if, he, if the if the universe was in balance, and there had to be a guy who was a, a just a king of frat parties, then yeah. I'm gonna go Infinity War Thor for sure. There you go. And if you need anybody to do Oreo review videos, I think Thor would be down for that. Maybe Korg too. Korg. <laughs> While they play Fortnite. <laughs> exactly. 
new master 69 yeah. all right uh <laughs> all right michael okay phoenix for sure oh yeah Jean gray yeah she's just not the university of phoenix <laughs> no not, not. although i'm sure they they could offer some assistance in some way so but yeah the, the phoenix i wouldn't say degree. dark phoenix because she's more like a villain s villainous so i would i would definitely say phoenix because she's just got lots of power all right i'm sticking with the females and um you know I, I feel like nobody else in the entire world would pick this, but sometimes it's the element of surprise. You see something and you just don't know how powerful it's going to be. That is why I am picking Hell Cow. No! Because... <laughs> <laughs> I even uh, I even wrote a little song for Hellcal I want to share real quick. Oh no! Oh please, yes. You you are so beautiful to me, Hellcal. It's so powerful with the power of Dracula. You are Hellcal. <laughs> I can see some PTSD on Michael's face. This yeah. Is thinking of all of the memories that have happened like this over the years well actually like a f couple of days ago the last interview we did it was it wasn't marvel but it was the same sort of setup so i see a pattern emerging i think we're going to get some counseling for him i think he needs some pro professional help <laughs> or something I gotta anyway. say, Big Haas was really disappointed that when I had my top five uh, heroes that need to be in the MCU, Hellcow was not in there. Mm. He was highly disappointed. I'm he bad. really highly has a thing for Hellcow. Yeah. I really do. All right, I got a fever, you. and the only cure is more Hellcow. <laughs> Christopher Walken. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's good. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, so sometimes you need someone who can do with deal with the supernatural and who's better at dealing with the supernatural than magic herself. Oh. I'm solid. I've had such safe picks that I'm going to do something real off the wall. Because based off of the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon show, one of my favorites <laughs> from the uh, Fox Studios Saturday morning program lineup. Oh yeah. I'm going to choose Madam Web. Oh. That, that's who I thought. When you said that, I was like, he's going to choose Madam Web, isn't he? Tell everybody about Madam Web who doesn't know. Well, I honestly only know about her from the show. And she reminded me of like a mixture between Doctor Strange and like, I don't know, Jesus. Like you could see, <laughs> you could see the future. Uh, and like she – she was so powerful that she made she blew Peter Parker's mind and actually set up the finale of that entire show. So I feel like if you combine her powers with Doctor Strange, it's a pretty dang good team. Absolutely. Mikey? Okay, so this might be another one that, that might not be normally picked, but Deathlock. Oh, Deathlock is good. When he first came out, no one could beat him. Like, he had, like, a perfect record. And I just think, especially 90s Deathlock, you know, like nobody could take him out. So you put him against, it doesn't matter what supervillain, back in the 90s, he could just look at Galactus and Galactus would just die. I mean, that was, that was just Deathlock, you know, he was all powerful. So I'm going to go with Deathlock. All right. I'm going to go <clears throat> with a young man who uh, is considered by many to be the most powerful superhero of all time, and that is Franklin Richards. Oh, yeah. The man. All right, your turn, Katie. All right. So sometimes when you're dealing with battles with the psyche, you need someone who is omega level. And the omega level I'm going to say is not the omega level you are thinking, but I'm going with Legion. Oh. Mm. That is a good pick. Mm. I like it. I like it. <laughs> And I am going to go with a similar psyched champion, but we're going to go with Professor X. Oh. Good leadership. Just, yeah, you got to have somebody like that. He's going to get in your head. 
in your head. Oh, all right. <laughs> Mikey. Okay, so I would go next with Smart Green Hulk. Because there were lots of oh. Hulk. There was Gray Hulk, but he was kind of a wimp, you know. There's Green Hulk who's just a brute and he just destroys everything. But Smart Green Hulk what had everything. He had brains, he had brawn, you know, still a little bit edgy. He wasn't like geeky, you know, cappuccino hulk that was on the movies, but but he was definitely he had the brains, but he was also a little bit angry still. So I would go with smart green hulk. Like big yeah, we don't we don't want the movie version that was dabbing and you know just a wimp. Just an absolute neutered wimp. But uh <laughs> sad. <laughs> so sad all right uh so i need leadership and since i picked franklin richards i am going to pick his dad uh mr fantastic who might not be the most powerful i mean he's stretchy so is like kamala khan which is prof Hoff's favorite <laughs> but um <laughs> <laughs> the look the look on his face right now guys but uh you know he has all the strategies he has all the smarts he has all the the funds and the machinery and everything and so i gotta put my guy um mr mr uh invisible wait mr fantastic yes got his wife mixed up a second all right he could be mr invisible they could they could kind of do the you know non-traditional last name thing you know I mean, I can see yeah, that. That is true. <laughs> All right, Katie. Uh, look, and sometimes you just got to send demons back to hell. And who's better than doing that but the son of Satan, Hellstrom? I don't even know who that is, but it, it sounds oh, powerful. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of the good one. And then his sister, Satana, she's a little bit <clears throat> iffy. Satana works for Satana. She doesn't really care about anyone else. <laughs> Oh, wait, did you do a video on Hellstrom? Mm, I said I wanted him and Satana in MCOC at the same okay. time. Like, they come in yeah. as a pair for that month. There you go. Satan's true sister right there. <laughs> or Jane Foster. Um, <laughs> or Jane Foster. <laughs> but uh, my so That's answer, your pick? <laughs> no, hell no. No, no I, I would lose. I would vote myself as last if that was the case. Um... I am going to go with somebody I truly think is a cheat code and the movie's finally exposed in some cases how much of a cheat code they are and that is Quicksilver. Yeah. Gotta go fast. Gotta go so gotta fast. Go fast. We gotta go fast. I wanna go fast. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that how they said it on, what was it, Ricky Bobby? I wanna go fast. <laughs> yeah. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> I'm all locked up about Mountain Dew. Yeah, that was good stuff. All right, Michael, who's out your team? Okay, so we're, everybody's picking a leader. And I would pick Vance Astro, who who is actually, he was on Guardians of the Galaxy, and he's sort of an alternate universe guy, if you follow Guardians of the Galaxy. But he had all of these awesome powers. He was from our time, but he kind of Buck Rogered it, you know, and he went into the future with the Guardians of the Galaxy and all the other ones were like the last of their their civilization, you know, to, to survive. And he had cool powers, but he also had Captain America's shield. And he was just, I, lo I, I thought he was such a great leader when Guardians of the Galaxy, this was before the, the, the movie Guardians of the Galaxy team, you know, this was a different lineup. But I, I just loved Vance Astro. I thought he was really powerful um, so that's, that's my pick for my last guy. And he went through, he because went after I, cosmic stuff all the time, you know, cosmic villains and, and whatnot. All right. Here's my guy. Um, whenever anything like that, whenever there's something serious that needs to happen, they pull out Adam Warlock. He was, Ooh. oh, he was my next one. Curse you. <laughs> Curse so, you! <laughs> just don't, just don't build me a voodoo doll and curse me. We're okay, but um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, Adam Warlock is just he 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 knows how to bring it. He knows how to bring out the um, 
the heavy artillery when it's when it's needed. So, all right, is that is that is that five for everybody? Yeah, yeah it's five. That's it. That'd be an interesting choice too. Yeah, so. get like a Twitter poll going for that too. I like yeah. I I forgot about Twitter for like ten years, and then like hmm. all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I got a Twitter account. I need to message people for my podcast on there, and I have like. 50 followers, so I'll, I'll let, I'll let y'all do that poll. <laughs> nobody, nobody knows I'm on Twitter, but, um, but yeah. Okay. So that sounds good. Um, I, I had fun doing these games guys. That was yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so before we, before we say sayonara, say la vie and all the other things, um, we want to give, uh, we'll go Katie and then prof, uh, the opportunity to kind of just, uh, Talk about some of the stuff that you're that you have coming up on your channel. Give a little plug, and uh, so that we can keep up with what you're doing. So, Katie, you can go first. Uh, so, I am currently in some of the final edits for How to Play Professor X in six minutes or less. So that'll be coming out relatively quickly, I think. Potentially depends on how much Apex I play tonight. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then I am going to continue my Omega Mutant Hunt, and uh, I'm going to be either opening up crystals or grinding for Apocalypse this coming weekend. So that should be fun. But yeah, so that's pretty much the um, up and coming stuff that I've got going on. <laughs> well, I have over 200 unread emails for crystal opening commentary submissions I've yet to get to. So that will always consume my life. And uh People get are, are to the point where they're very impatient. I had one person this morning who emailed me. This is the fourth time I've sent you this. Commentate this now as the headline of Wow. Email. Oh my goodness. Fun stuff. Everybody's everybody's real kind and patient these days. It's, it's, it's always that's the internet's always just kind and patient, you know? Oh yeah. The, the kindest Absolutely. place in the world. Oh yeah. The least oh. toxic place you could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And Prof and I have incursions tonight. Yeah, and we're gonna just do fun. Are we gonna do Sector Seven? Yeah, yeah, Sector Seven. Yeah, I'm excited. No, no life cycle Darkhawk. And that, and if if we get enough rewards, which there's like 50 to 50, we'll I'll open a six star at the end. So Katie, you better hide that voodoo doll. And her dog Chevy has also cursed me in my openings. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You know, I, I gotta tell this story, but, but before we we get off before we get off the air, but I don't know why, Prof, but like, um, I, like it was like three streams in a row where I would uh try to get on and watch you and stuff like that, and every time my cat for some reason hates you, I, I would hold my phone up and I would have my phone, and my cat would just come up, look at me, go rear, and then knock the phone out of my hand, only when you were on there, and I'm like, what is happening here? So you're you're you know, not big I, with it because my streams are usually catastrophes. <laughs> and no what no better way to end than that. So guys, <laughs> thank you all so much for uh for being on the Or Umbrella podcast. Uh this is Jonathan Orr. Michael Orr. Signing off. We will see you next time.